Welcome. America. And thank you for joining us for another one of Mike and Billy's Whiskey Reviews. I'm Mike. I'm Billy. And today, we bring you the Glenmore Rangy 12-year-old Quinta Rubin. I call it the double pumper. We have a small bottle today as a part of the Glenmore Rangy three-piece set. You were supposed to hand it, forgive me. Um, the Glenmore Rangy came with the original, a full 750 ml, and two of two samples of the Quinta Rubin and the Lanista, which we'll bring you today. Nice box, only $40 American in Q1 this box of 2017. Is for sale if wants it. The Quinta Rubin is a 12 year old whiskey. It is 46% ABV, so 92 proof. What makes this one particularly special is it's finished in portwood casks. Portwood pipes, excuse me. So after it's been made for portwood wine, it's emptied, sent to Scotland, and they you know do. You know what I'm a fan of? What's that? Port. Thank you, sweetheart. The ports. We should actually, maybe we should drink some port on here one time. Port wine? Yeah. With some not? cheese and some sliced pear. That'll be a different channel, but yeah, we can do that. So we mix it up. We might just do a video of us hugging, where there's no words even exchanged. Just bare-breasted men hugging. And a lot of love. So much love. So much love. If you stab yourself with that knife. Which reminds me, always cut away from yourself if you're at home. Unlike cutting towards your partner, Billy. Oh, That's that me. me, my friend. He was going to stab me with the thing. You're Mike this time. Oh, oh yeah, I'm Mike this time. Just oh. kidding. So, a little bit about Glen Marangi Distillery. It's a Highland distillery. It is known for a very light, uh, very floral, very sweet whiskey. A lot of fruits, a lot of oranges. Also, the tallest stills in all of Scotland. In all of Scotland. 5.14 meters, if I'm not mistaken. Boy, that was hard. Baby to proof. <laughs> Gee, many Christmas. It's baby glass. Not for babies. I got these 18 inch guns. That was baby proof. It was a baby proof. Oh, Those fuck. are 18 inch guns. We had a debate a couple we, weeks ago. We measured them. We, measured we them. actually measured them. Shockingly, he does have 18 inch arms. Shock it. That's, that, that's a big, that's a, how big were Arnold's arms? I don't know. 22 inches. No. At its best. No. At its best. Look at this beautiful whiskey. Woo. Let's, let's, There's almost a redness to it. Yeah, let's get the color. I don't know if this is, I would assume it's not chill filtered because it's 46% ABV, but that's around the line of chill filtered or not. Uh, it could go either way. I, what I will say is this, it's a lovely, oh, it's dark, gorgeous. almost reddish color. I Clearly from the port finishing. I don't know if this is a cut, they put in caramel colorant besides. Did you do your homework? I did not do my homework. No legs, no legs. Like it's just sticking. Very thin. You guys want to see the color on that? Look at that. Very thin legs. That is gorgeous. This is my only second whiskey I've ever had with a port wood finish. That being the... Ooh, you get the port immediately. Oh, yeah. There's like not even a second delay on that one. You just get it. You get it right and instantly Ooh, right up the nose. Right up. Port wine. Bang. Like I want to squirt it out the... I tell you what, I, the Balvini 21-year-old has a port wood finish. That oh. is a lot more subtle. Lot more subtle than it is here. This is subtler? very subtler. A lot subtler. More subtle. Guys, can I give you guys a sippy sip? <laughs> sippy sip. So not very not very good legs. I don't know why that would be. Mm. It's two years older than the I don't like this. Original. I do not like this. What are you picking up? Medicine, hospital, sterile, antiseptic. This has nothing to do with the first one. <laughs> this guy right here, the originator, and then this guy here. I see why this was free with this bottle. I am not a fan. I'm talking mad shit. Mike might have something different to say. All I get is medicine and gross, and I feel like I'm at the hospital and I just had an operation. This is bad. This is bad. There was a, we did a different video with our shirts off of some scotch that uh, Gio gave us because he hates us. That was worse than this, but not by much. This, I don't even know if I want to finish this. This has the highest ABV oh. of the 10 year old, the uh, Lanista and Gio. the Quinta Rubin. Come try this. This one is a very, Port wood. Stand in between us so and yeah, they can hear you. So every once in a while bring Gio in. Trent, he's a chef. He just sits in the back. And not like orders. not like I'm a chef and I worked at fucking Denny's. This dude's legit as fuck. Take a little bit of this, tell me what you're saying. Take, take a nose of that. It's finished in port wood wine. 
It does have a gorgeous color. color. It does a have gorgeous a good color. color. Like a rose gold kind of color. Right? Nice. It's darker fruits for sure. There's like an astringent quality to it all. Oh! Mm. Oh! I'm not drinking any more of this. I, I don't like Nero as much as the 10 year old. I'll tell you mm. that. Even though it's aged two years you older do like it? and then finished in, in Portwood. It's got. It's like a combination of the last few things I've drank with you guys. There was that horrible <laughs> antiseptic one that I got as a gift. Yep. There was the really nice one that we were tripping out over last week. Glenn that was Farkle's so good. Glenn and was oh. a bit of what we just well, drank. Here's what happened. Last week, we were so drunk, we got in an argument, and there was a fist fight. We couldn't upload the videos. I had my shirt off. It was brutal. That was sexy. It's good. But it was bad. So we didn't bring that to you. Okay. But we'll bring you to Glenn Farkas 25 again. When you drink a lot of whiskey, sometimes you get in fights. Apricots and stuff. And play darts. I get a little bit of apricot. What else are you picking up? Um, I get ass butthole. Like right, There's the antiseptic quality. This is the apricot. It there is an antiseptic quality. Wood. Woody. And there's like a, I don't want to say like a, like Short a vegetable fence. quality, like a squash. Kind of. There's like a root vegetable maybe? Yeah. Like a right. potato covered in dirt still? Not, it. not, not a fan. Not a fan. All right, so I'll say this, Billy. Thanks, Dad. Okay. Thanks, Gio. What? It, You're we, great. I've had four or five Glen Morangis. This is probably my least favorite. I'm glad we had Gio on the show because he's actually the size of your typical Irish Scotsman. About five, six or so. We're taller than that. He said on a good day. When you wake up. Okay, so mm -hmm. this, this is what I'm going to say about the Quinto Reuben. Not something even for fifty dollars American. That's with the full seven fifty ml. Uh, I would never buy this. Prob I probably wouldn't be a fan. Do yourself a favor if you want to try Glen Morangi, Try the normal ten year old for ten dollars less. It's a better whiskey in my opinion. Maybe um, I just don't have the proper palate. No, no, no. I maybe I just don't have the proper palate for it. But I'll say this. I'm gonna actually give this a slightly less of a score than the ten year old. I'm gonna go with. Don't get it. An 85 what's out of the, 100. What's the least you can give? 75. You're going with the 75? That bad? I'm at a 74. It's 46% ABV. If someone gave me a free bottle of that, I would just use it to start fires in my burn barrel. <sighs> Have I told you how dapper and handsome you look today? No, but I appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. It's an old shirt. Okay, so he's at 75. I'm at 86. 80, uh, excuse me, I'm at 85. I'm at 85, he's at 75. Not our favorite Glen Morangi or Scotch whiskey to begin with. But nevertheless, we do want to thank you for joining us for another, another one of Mike and Billy's whiskey reviews. And as always, Billy? Uh, please like, please comment, please share. And if you're really happy, subscribe. Bang. And we want to appreciate the subscribers. We're getting a little bit of ground here lately, so we want to thank you for that. Please, as always, if you have a, a recommendation or a comment, leave it in the section. And if you um, want to buy a T-shirt, PayPal me some money. I am Billy Hill at gmail.com. And uh, address. If you're shipping overseas, definitely add more money. We're probably never going to send the T-shirt. Just send us money so we can buy more whiskey and bourbon. Okay. Thank you. And we'll bring it to you. So as always, I want to thank you for joining us for another Mike and Billy's whiskey reviews. And always, happy drinking. Uh, happy, we're still doing happy drinking. If We're stuck up, with happy. You drinking. come up with something else, and I will do it. You don't hey, like this at all, do you? Pour, please pour that up somebody's butthole.